the prices. It's so affordable to be alone. Hey, Live Nation, we are here with Josh Levi. Josh, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Let's talk about that new music. You dropped a deluxe version of Disc 2, Scratched Up. With this project specifically, what track are you the most proud of? Ooh, I really like that question. Um, I have a song called CeeLo on the deluxe that I wrote in this room, actually. I'm in my, my home studio. CeeLo is the first and only song I've written at my home. I did it with friends and I really just wanted to experiment. And it was so organic, it wasn't forced. Like I'm in sessions all the time. I'm creating and collaborating with people I look up to all the time. Now people are really connecting with it and it's just kind of cool, I think, the story behind it. I think a lot of my music might be more like angsty and in my feels and maybe toxic according to some people i don't know i like that you describe it as toxic i feel like that could just be like a subgenre of music i guess so like i think there's a lot of artists that like like to make toxic music but i don't know if i'm like a self-proclaimed toxic person guy writer i just I guess like I just write what happens to me and how I feel. And then if that's underneath the category of toxic, then so be it. If the yeah. shoe fits, is that what they say? If the shoe fits, then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might not be toxic. You might just be like a toxic whisperer. Like you get it. I think I'm toxic adjacent. Okay. <laughs> you know, you have everyone from Justin Bieber to Issa Rae, like hyping you up on social media. Is there someone that either has like reached out as a fan or hyped you up on social that's been a pinch me moment for you? I think the day that Brandy followed me on Instagram was a crazy day for me and meant a lot. I've, I've looked up to her as an artist, as a vocalist my entire existence. Um, I remember just her commenting on my NASA music video and um, following me on Instagram and that just, that was like a full circle moment for me. It's so weird that you can create things and that it can resonate with people that you've looked up to or listened to um, or just sang their songs or watched from afar. Timbaland is another um, big inspiration for me sonically. He was just listening to Ego on TikTok. Um, Bieber posting my song vices and really like being obsessed with that song it's it's wild to me that like i don't create music to set out to uh get celebrities to to validate it but when it happens it definitely feels amazing 